How's it going everyone, Rosalind here, and today I've got yet another build video for you for Persona 3 Reload. This time we're going to be making a wind-focused norm build, the exact same build that I'm currently using in my own Merciless playthrough. Now just like with my Siegfried build that I showed in a different video, despite being a mid to late game Persona, this norm build is powerful enough that it can actually serve as your main wind Persona clear up until the end of the game. It really is that powerful. Now as usual, I will start by showcasing the Persona and the skills I chose and going over my reasonings for those and then we will transition into showing you how to actually build the Persona. So, let's get into it. And here is the Norn that we're going to be building today. As this is a Persona that is designed for boss fights and strong enemies, we really only need one offensive ability, and that is Panta Ray. This wind ability deals severe damage with a power scaling of 600 and hits like an absolute truck. And then to further boost this, we take Wind Amp, Wind Boost, and Single Target Boost. After that, we also have Concentrate, so that we can increase its power by 2.5 times on the following turn, and then Nolalek is there to shore up Norn's only weakness. Finally, Invigorate 3 and Spellmaster are taken, so that in the long fights, we don't have any SP issues. If you really did want an AoE option, you could keep the Magadudine that Norn starts with, but it really isn't necessary. And so with that skill explanation out of the way, let's get into making this Norn. Alright, so for this build, we do need a level 76 Loki, and now he does need to be level 76, as this is when he learns Spellmaster. I actually made this exact build in another video, so you can check that out. But to get this, just make a Loki, give him a growth skill card, and then he'll learn it passively. We then need a Pisaka. We need a Thunderbird, which needs to be level 41 to learn Null Elec. Same with the Loki, you can give him a growth skill card, so he can learn it passively. But in Thunderbird's case, you can also get him from Shuffle Time. We then need a Nagaraja, a Neko Shogun, and a Toth. Now this Toth needs to be level 45 in order to learn Concentrate. And as with the other two instances, you can use a Growth Skill Card to have him learn it passively, or you can use another source of Concentrate. This was just the simplest for the Fusion Paths to go with Toth instead of somebody else. And then finally, we need Siegfried. So with that out the way, we can start by fusing the Loki and the Pisaka to make a Laxus. And we're going to be passing down Spellmaster. Okay, and then we want to fuse the Thunderbird with Naga Raja to make an Okuninushi. And we want to pass down the Null Elec. Alright, and once you've done that, we want to fuse the Neko Shogun with the Okuninushi to make a Clotho. And we will once again be passing down Noelek. Okay, and then we will be fusing the Toth with Siegfried to make Atropos. And we'll be passing down Concentrate here. Alright, and once that's done, we come over to Special Fusion, down to Norn, and we can fuse us our Norn. 
We want to be passing down the Concentrate, Null Elec, and Spellmaster. Alright, then we'll keep Invigorate 3. Alright, and at this point we can go get the other two abilities through skill cards. So for starters, we have the single target boost. Now with these two skill cards, uh, it is possible to get them through fusion as well, and you do have enough slots to pass down through fusion to get them. Uh, it's just easy to get them through skill cards because you can get them in abundance when going through Tartarus. But if you want to get them through fusion instead, by all means. And there we go. The build is now complete. You have a Norn that can function all the way up until the very end of the game if you so choose. So that will do it for this Norn build for Persona 3 Reload. If you like the build and want to see more of this content from me, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you have any questions about this video, Persona 3 Reload, or any other game that I cover, feel free to hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslingaming, or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description below. Until next time, take care.